you know, for the first time in a long time, um, I've decided that I'm not going to watch the Eagles Broncos game. I was with my son at the at the park. Spent about two hours with him. Uh, walked home, and I missed the whole game completely. And it felt really good. It felt great. Um, I think there was a point where I was sitting at home. My wife was like, oh, do you want to know what happened in the game? And I was like, sure. I don't really care, but sure. And she was like, the Eagles beat the Broncos. And I was like, whoa. Was it like a close game? And she was like, no, not really. <laughs> so that that that's really good. But um, yeah, it was really tough. It took a lot in me to not just look down at my phone and, and think to myself, oh, you know, what's going on in the game? I want to know what's going on with my fantasy team. But I uh, didn't want to didn't want to look away from the little guy. You know, and that was something that I just I felt a certain way about sharing because I, I didn't want the backlash. I didn't want people to be like, oh, you know, you quit on your team. You don't want to be a fan because the team sucks. But I mean, apparently I missed a pretty good game. Uh, but, you know, it's just it's just one of those things where there are more important things in life. And, and even when I was watching the game today, you know, I kind of had a tough time myself because I was like, you know, there are better things for me to do with my time right now while the Eagles are absolutely blowing out the Saints. And I, I will say that I am extremely superstitious because I'm like, if I'm not standing in the right place, I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's the Eagles are losing because I'm not standing in the right place. or it, it really gets with your head, and it's like that stuff really doesn't matter or it shouldn't matter, but like to you, you're like, oh, I'm letting them down, right? You, you feel like you, you have a little bit of control there or you want that control. But no, I, I, had, a, I had a really fun time, and, and it's something that I really do want to do again, you know, whether it be an early game or a late game. The one thing that I will say, and it's an honest to God thing that I will say, if, if the, if I start watching the game, I need to finish it. I just do. Like, if if I'm not starting, if if in that situation I didn't, the moment the game started, I was gone. I was gone, and when I got back, you know, my wife had some holiday movie on or something like that but I need to be gone I can't watch any of the game or else I'm like oh I need to figure out what's going on like I remember one time uh I went to a wedding uh with my wife and we we were we were actually at like the the day after party and like they didn't have the Eagles game I'm, I'm used to like going to a bar and having being able to see the Eagles game uh, because they have it on, they've got like Sunday ticket or something like that. Or I'm I'm used to, at this point I'm used to sometimes uh, streaming the game illegally, py illegally pirating the game. And I remember at the whole time I was just looking at my phone at the game cast, you know, just worrying. I mean, the Eagles blew the Jets out by like a million points. They only scored like seven. But I just remember like not wanting to have that happen not will not wanting to do things like that not willing not wanting to to you know spend all my time worrying because when I was at the park you know I wanted to see the game but I wasn't worried I was worried about how my son was doing I was worried about interacting with him I wasn't worried about what was going on with the Eagles and it felt good you know it's just so weird that I just don't even if the Eagles win, there's always drama. There's always some drama, right? Because I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to the Eagles. But in this case, I just wasn't worried. I wasn't worried about what Jalen Hurts was doing. I wasn't worried about if the coach was calling enough running plays. I was not worried about it. And that was the first game that I had missed. As like either not watching the game cast or not watching the game. I would say since since like maybe 2006 uh, it was an Eagles game against the Titans uh, where Donovan McNabb got injured and we got blown out like 
Vince Young just totally demolished us. We we never beat we never beat Vince Young. <laughs> we never beat. I think we only played him once, but we never beat Vince Young. And I think Vince Young only had one win with us, which is kind of embarrassing. But it's it's just one of those things where you look back at these situations and you're like, well, hopefully I'm able to do that again. Hopefully I'm able to miss a game because it felt good missing the game. I know that that, that sounds kind of weird, but I, I felt good about it. You know, I, I, I came away with it not thinking, oh, you know, I betrayed my fanhood or anything like that. I came away from the game thinking to myself, this felt good and I want to do it again. And I don't know if I'm going to do it at another time this season. I really like doing it during the late game because... You know, with early games, my, my favorite kind of game is the early game because I like to get my losing out of the way first or my winning or losing out of the way first. I hate primetime games. So maybe, eh, well, I can't really do it during a primetime game because of the, the whole time situation uh, because my son is usually asleep. But, you know, it's it's just one of those things where I think I'd want to try again and I, I, I'd recommend anybody who would want to do it to just do it. Just, just don't worry about it, you know, don't worry about what your team is doing, because I feel like a lot of us fans are just addicted to it, and we definitely have better things that we could be doing for ourselves.